Hi and welcome to this tutorial, on how to automate the creation of VFX EXR high resolution plates from original camera files, and generate corresponding low resolution plates simultaneously using Mystica workflows. Together with the creation of CDL information and reference movies for each shot, these processes are integral to the complete VFX Pulse pipeline. Now let's have a look into a step-by-step -step automation of EXR high resolution and low resolution plate creation. Please note that this workflow must take into consideration the complete color pipeline, especially for the low resolution plates. It will consist of three stages, conform, color management, and rendering. Let's have a closer look at each of them. In the conform phase, we need to deploy the conform filter functionality. This node works with two inputs, EDL, AAF, or XML files coming from the editor, and the original camera files. These inputs can be considered watch folders, to automatically trigger the whole workflow when a new file is created or modified in the source folders. However, please note that a watch folder will index all files every n seconds, so it is preferable to point it to a folder with only a few, relevant files. In this case, we recommend configuring the watch folder node with the EDL, AAF, or XML folder to avoid indexing a vast OCF folder. To set it up we need to specify frame rate of the footage especially when working with EDL files, where frame rate is not provided as data. Matching criteria like tape name or from clip name, and desired handles for conformed shots. The VFX shot name will be extracted from the marker information provided in the EDL, AAF or XML file, as well as the corresponding CDL information. In the case of an EDL with markers generated from Avid Media Composer it should look like this. The next step is to establish the color pipeline for both the EXR, and low resolution plates. For this example, we will design an ACES color pipeline, however, feel free to tailor any alternative color pipeline to your specific requirements. EXR plates will be exported in ACES AP0. When handling camera raw files, Mystica workflows automatically detects gamma and gamut options within their debayer settings. Thus there's no need to specify the input color space for subsequent conversions. Nevertheless, leveraging the tag color space node can be beneficial, particularly when conforming non-raw files lacking color space information. This node allows enforcing specific color space settings as needed. In the case of the low resolution plates, a color pipeline to be 709 is used within an ACES environment. So we need to make use of three nodes. Unicolor input transform, this node converts input files, such as ARI log C3, to ACES AP1 CCT. CDL, when set to auto, this node retrieves CDL information provided in the EDL, AAF, or XML for each conform shot. ACES ODT, following industry standards, this node performs the conversion from ACES AP1 CCT to B709. The final stage, rendering, involves adjusting properties like output path, file naming using dynamic tokens, and specific settings for EXR files and low resolution plates. Specifically, for the VFX pulls workflow, Leveraging dynamic tokens with the VFX name found within the markers of the EDL, AAF or XML provided by the editor is very useful. For EXRs we can modify and adjust several properties. Such as codec, resolution, and first frame number used to enumerate the sequence. All transcoding nodes provide options for color space conversion. Specifically, for ACES AP0, it is essential to specify the color space as linear. Transcode nodes can be sent individually to a deadline render farm, offloading heavy render jobs from the local Mystica workflows host. Finally, low resolution plates are rendered to ProRace HD without applying additional color space conversions, as the color pipeline is set in prior nodes. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To get more information on this node's properties, head over to the Mystica workflows manual. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media, if you want to keep up with the latest news on Mystica technology. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.